Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the brand new Suku Cream Foundation. This has come out in some new shades and I was very excited to get my hands on it. I got sent this in PR, so thank you very much Suku, much appreciated. So I'm going to be showing you guys the new shades that they sent me. I got sent four shades, I'm going to be swatching them for you all on my arm and also on my face as well and then doing a demo of the one that was the best match. So I'm just going to get into it, but if you haven't subscribed already guys, Please subscribe, we would love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado, guys, here is the video. So guys, today I'm going to be trying out the brand new Suku Cream Foundation. This has just launched in an extended shade range, and I have tried this foundation or something similar to this. It's last iteration of the last iteration of this already, so I will link that down below. But this is the new and improved formula. This is the new extended shade range, which is much more inclusive and much more varied. So I was very excited to try it. I did a poll and asked you guys if you wanted to see it. And the answer was, was a resounding yes. I think it was like a 92% vote, something crazy. I was like, oh my God, they love it. Hopefully it's interesting, hopefully it's helpful. I got four shades sent to me by the brand. They also sent me a little guide which is super helpful so you can see the shades. There are loads more shades than there were. The deepest, richest shade that I had when they last sent this to me last year was 160. Now they definitely have expanded the range. They've got two, four, six. At least six new shades. So I'm really happy about this. Really excited to be trying it out for you guys today. I did actually really like this foundation. It was very luxurious, very creamy really really nice to wear uh but the shade range wasn't great so i'm really glad that they have extended this and just doing better gotta love it gotta love it so i'm gonna read you the blurb i'm gonna show you the new swatch the new shades that i got sent by suku i'll also compare it to the 150 and the 160 which they sent me last year just so we can have a look at the comparison see if there's any difference i have no idea if there's going to be but i am very intrigued by the fact that there is no longer a 150 and a 160 in the shade range. They now have a 050060. So I'm just gonna redo this little leaflet they sent me. Got all the shades here. It says, please find enclosed a selection of Suki the Cream foundation. Each shade is versatile and buildable to work with each individual skin needs while promising a flawless finish that looks even better as the day goes on. This improved formulation is Suki's most luxurious and radiance-boosting cream foundation to date and is designed to impart a natural glow which adapts to the skin over time, resulting in a multifaceted luminosity even hours after application. 13 different types of Japanese source beauty extracts are infused, plus hydrolyzed collagen and sodium hyaluronate for added skincare benefits. This foundation replenishes moisture in the skin, leaving the complexion smooth and hydrated and imparting a natural radiance that blends seamlessly with the skin for a soft, refined finish. Coated color pigments and amino acid derivatives creates a powderless finish for an even more natural glow. So, I'm excited about it. It's interesting to see that they, even though the formulation was really good, they've improved the formula even more. It's got collagen in it, it's got lots of Japanese beauty extracts, it's got hyaluronic acid in it, so that's really good. It's obviously gonna give me a really nice skin-like, skin-loving finish, I like that. So it comes in 23 shades, and it has three different undertones. They, they call them rose beige, beige, and yellow beige, but they're basically cool, neutral, and warm, or golden. From what I can see, for the richest and fairest shades, it's either a cool undertone or a neutral undertone. Only in the middle, really, is it actually a golden undertone. You will be able to get neutral um, across the spectrum and cool kind of dotted about. So I'll show you it again just so you can see it. So they sent me 050, 155, 060 and 260. It's going to be launching on the 9th of September at Selfridges, Harrods, Liberty and Colt Beauty. They do not say anything about the US, but you can get Suku from Selfridges, Harrods, US and Colt Beauty if you are in the US or international. In the US, the dollar price I'm getting on Harrods is 82 US dollars and in the UK at Selfridges, the original one was coming in at 
68 pounds so 68 pounds and 82 us dollars this is 30 grams so your standard average size of foundation An ounces i think that's one ounce one fluid ounce suku is a luxurious japanese brand so it's all made in japan it comes in like very sleek matte black packaging and the actual the actual foundation itself comes in a really really nice jar which i do really like i've always really liked it's very very cute it comes with a little spatula as well i'm going to show you guys the packaging and then i'm going to show you guys some swatches and then i'm going to get into some face swatches and then i'm going to get into a demo So guys, those are the swatches on. Hopefully that was helpful. From what I can see, if you do have 150 and 160, then 
Those are exactly the same as 050 and 060, which used to be their deepest shades. So off the new shades, I'm not sure what is actually gonna be my correct shades. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swatch them all on my face. I've got a little new friend who just popped up over the last few days. I think it's one of the new moisturizers I've been trying. Um, but yeah, so the shades do look good. I started off with 260, which is the deepest one they gave me. That is a cool undertone. There are three deeper, cooler undertones. After that, there is 265, 280, and 290. 260 is very rich for me though, and I definitely wouldn't need to go any deeper than that. Next, I went in with 060, which is the original shade 160. Next, I went in with 155, which is on its own really. It's kind of in between 050 and 060. So if you had the shades 150 and 160 from the old foundation and you felt like you needed like a middle ground then there is that shade now that shade does exist but it does come with a neutral undertone and then the last one i swatched is 050 which is the original shade 150 that is a bit light for me it's a bit bit fair for me but it is a nice tan golden undertone so if you do have like a nice rich tan skin tone then that's a really nice shade. I do really like that. It's just a bit light for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly swatch them on my face so you can see them. I'm going to swatch them in the same order. So this is 260. And I have to say, guys, I feel exactly the same as I used to, which is that this is literally the messiest foundation. It gets everywhere, especially if you're trying to use the lid and things like that. It's kind of a real pain. I'm going to go here right over my spot lovely jubbly it's pretty gross that is 260 very cool and next i'm going to go in with 060 so the golden undertone version of this see the jars are gorgeous uh, they come in glass jars with little spatulas it is very pretty that's quite a good match for me so that's 060 and that's 260 this is 155 coming up. I quite like this one. I don't know why. It's very neutral, but I kind of like it. And then here is 050. They're very, very creamy. swatches on 16060 is definitely my shade it's the one that looks the most like my skin the most golden the most warm the 155 even though it's swatched quite nicely <laughs> on my hand it does come off a little too cool on my skin those were the swatches of the Suku foundation. As before, the best shade for me is 060, which used to be 160. It does feel, feel even creamier than it did before, and I don't know how that's even possible, but it does. So I'm just going to pop this on. I don't know why I did it on both sides, that was a bit silly. One side I'll do it with my fingers.
that's it applied over my fingers i really like this i feel like it looks really nice it's got even more of a glow than i remember it having and it gives like a really decent coverage it doesn't look cakey just looks very natural i think it's actually better blended out with the fingers but i'll apply a bit more on this side with the sponge just so i can give it a fair go So that is the foundation on guys in 060. I think it's got a really nice finish to it. It looks very natural. It's got a really decent coverage, kind of medium to full coverage, but it looks very natural and still has a really nice radiance to it. So I really like this. I think it's done a really good job. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you guys a quick close up and then I'm gonna finish up. let me know your thoughts do you prefer it with the fingers or with the sponge which side do you prefer i actually think this is a really nice foundation and i forgot how nice it was i also don't remember the match being as perfect as it is but i don't know if that's just my skin tone now but it definitely looks like the perfect match for me this is the shade 060 and i'm really really pleased that they've got so many other shades after this and they've got an extended range of undertones as well so i think this is really lovely it feels so soft it actually feels a lot more natural with the finger side it feels a bit more tacky a bit more like i've got product on with the sponge side but i think it looks roughly about the same although i did have to put on more on the sponge side so it's up to you how you like to apply your foundations i personally like to apply things with a sponge but i think this one actually probably works better it's a lot quicker to just use your fingers so yeah i do really like this i think it is really nice i'm going to do a little wear test i'm not going to do much to it i'm going to put a bit of concealer on and then i'll be back so guys that is it that is my finished lip that is the suku cream foundation on i've put a little bit of the rose ink on my lips because i'm kind of loving it and i put a little bit of highlight and bronzer on my nose Apart from the Chanel, I've got nothing else on my cheeks and I feel like it does look really good. It feels very lightweight actually, definitely more lightweight on the side where I just applied it with my fingers. I've had this on for about 25 minutes. It's now 3.42. Um, so let's just say I've had it on since 3.15. So let's say I've had it on for half an hour. <laughs> so I'm going to come back when I'm about to take this off, show you guys what it looks like. I'm not setting it down or anything. I put the tiniest little bit of powder under my eyes and that's it. So just wanna see how this wears naturally and what happens to it. Hi guys, I am back. I'm looking a bit sad now. I've literally been working when I actually went for a stroll. Uh, I went for a stroll, went to the shops just to get some groceries and then I walked around the houses and then I came back and I've literally been on my computer ever since. So I've been touching my face a lot. I also blew my nose a few times, which is sad. My spot is doing its own thing. But anyway, it is now, I think it looks better down. I don't know. It is now 8.52. And so I, let's show you. Had this on for five hours. Considering I didn't set it, I only used a tiny bit of powder under my eyes and I'm touching my face for at least the last three hours. I think it's not too bad. I do still have like a decent amount of coverage ish. Ish. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. You decide. It's not. It doesn't look great. It didn't say it was going to be a super long lasting foundation and it doesn't look too bad. I am very, very, very tired. I've literally been sitting at my desk like this for most of the evening i'm exhausted so i think that's definitely got something to do with the dark circles under my eyes as well as the fact that i have dark circles under my eyes um but i don't think it's terrible it's five hours wear not a huge amount but i have been touching my face literally for the last three hours i am also super exhausted so i definitely do think those two are factors that we have to take into account 
but yeah i don't i don't look flawless anymore uh but i didn't set it with setting spray i didn't set it with powder i just let it be so i think considering all of that it's not too bad it definitely doesn't look the same as it did five hours ago i don't look the same as i did five hours ago i don't feel the same as i did five hours ago um and i did blow my nose as well which is always a way to lose foundation someone needs to come up with a foundation that doesn't disappear when you blow your nose that would be fantastic anyway guys i just thought i'd come and give you a quick check-in so yeah that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching so guys that is it that's my finished look i hope you like this video i'm very happy with this and i'm going to be keeping my shade so thank you very much suku if any of you guys want the other ones let me know if you don't mind that i've like spatulated them happy to get happy to send them to you um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you like this video if you haven't subscribed already guys please subscribe we'd love to have you in the slap family thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one